What's up guys? So recently I released a video here on the channel. It was hands down one of my most requested videos to make. Everybody wanted to know where I put my Benise box and how I hid the wiring and the module itself. If you don't know what the Benise box is, it's what allows you to turn your screen into basically a tablet on the go. It's wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, you have all of the apps. It, literally, I mean, you could surf the internet, YouTube TV, Netflix. My kids love it when we're on road trips. That's the main reason I bought it, but I absolutely love it as well. Everybody wanted to know where I hid that Benise box because usually you'd have to plug it in right here. You'd have the cord hanging down and blah, blah, blah. So I showed you where I hid it and how I did it, but I also mentioned in that video to stay tuned because I'm gonna show you a new product that just recently hit the market that's basically very comparable, but does have a couple things dis distinct advantages. Let me give you a look at what it is and I'll put a link down below if you wanna pick one up. All right guys, so here it is. This is what I've been using for the last couple weeks now. It is a product from one of our channel partners and channel sponsors, Car Link It. Now we've been using their other modules for a long time in my wife's vehicles and even my previous Tundra that allowed you to have wireless CarPlay, but their other modules didn't allow you to have basically what the Benise box offered, which was the tablet on the go. You know, the the YouTube TV, Netflix, all that good stuff. Car Linkage just recently came out with their own version of this and I've been running it for a couple weeks now to kind of test it out. That's another reason why I was a little bit late releasing this video. I wanted to kind of put it through its paces a little bit before I made this video. And I have to tell you, I'm 100% satisfied with their box. It's called the T-Box Plus, and I'm gonna give you a look at, um, at it next to the Benise box. There's a couple minor advantages to the new products from CarLinkit, and then there's one what I would consider a pretty good advantage, which I'll mention last. So here they are side by side. Now, size-wise, um, very similar, actually just about identical as far as um, height and width. Okay, you can see them side by side. If I put them over each other, they're literally just about identical. The One of the slight advantages of the car linket module is the thinness of it. Now, everybody wants to hide these. Just about, you know, these things are so popular with our with us Tundra guys and even other vehicles as well. Um, these aren't just for Tundras, of course. Everybody wants to hide it. So if you're looking for a spot to hide it, you can see if you look at the Benise box, this is the one we've been running. No complaints, it was an awesome box. But if you look at the width, this is literally about half the width of, or, or the thickness, I should say, of the Benise box. So it's gonna make it a little bit easier to hide. Now, not a huge deal, just a little advantage I did wanna mention. The other advantage that I've noticed since I've been running this, the connectivity. So as far as, you know, when you first initially start the truck, the time it takes to connect, that's about the same between the two modules, the Benise and the Car Linkit, um, T-Box Plus. But as far as staying connected, I literally have not had to reset this box one time. And what I mean by resetting is with the Benise, it didn't happen often. I'm not, I'm not complaining about this thing. I loved it. I used it for a long time, but every so often it would, when it loaded up, it would either freeze on me or the apps would crash. Um, and basically all I had to do was unplug it, plug it back in. And then I was good to go. It was no big deal. But if you're, you know, you're watching something on Netflix, the kids are watching a movie, whatever the case may be, it kind of sucked. But again, not a huge deal. This new box from Car Link It, the connectivity has been spotless. I have not lost connection once. I have not had to reset it once. So I've been using it for a couple weeks. Time will tell if it's gonna stay that way. But as far as connectivity goes up to this point, this is definitely an advantage over the Benise box up from, from where I sit. Um, I have not had to reconnect it once um, since I've been using it. So as far as like app interface, like, you know, clicking in between apps, the speed about the same. The, again, the Benise box was pretty good with that too. Um, so, you know, really no major difference there, but staying connected is a difference that I've noticed and I'm definitely happy with the car linket. Before we talk about the biggest advantage with the car linket box, let me just give you a look. If you didn't see my last video on where exactly I hit it, right there. Super easy to get to, and in my opinion, it's the perfect location. So even if you are driving, if you have to unplug it for any reason, you're not reaching over into the glove box or anything, you literally just slide this tray open, unplug it if you need to, or whatever, if you want to, whatever the case may be. It does not get in the way of anything in here. My safe will still easily open. I have it locked right now where I'd open it for you, um, but I showed you in my last video. So this is where we had the Benise, but obviously swapped it out a couple weeks ago for the car linket box. Wiring is nice and neat. 
So couldn't be happy with that. The Because this is about half the thickness as I showed you, um, it even fits in this area better. The Beniz, I kind of had to wedge down in there. There's a little gap in between the safe and this landing area or whatever you want to call it, this spot here, um, that the Carlinka box, because it's half the, the thickness, it fits there perfect. I put a little piece of double backing tape on it, stuck it right there, and uh, my opinion, perfect spot for it, easy access. Let's wrap the video up and talk about the biggest advantage of this new box from Carlinka. All right, guys, so that's a couple minor advantages to the car Lincoln box versus the Beniz. And one thing I do want to mention before I go any further and mention the biggest advantage, in my opinion, um, which I think everybody's going to agree with, is when I say I didn't have to reset it, I meant the apps and everything. Full disclosure, I want you guys to know everything I've experienced with this. Um, as always, of course, this was sent to me. Again, car Lincoln is a channel partner. Um, but again, you guys know I'm always honest, good, bad, or indifferent. The only thing I had to do with this when I very first installed it, um, the audio was a little bit off it wasn't playing right through the speakers so i sent them an email they immediately responded all i had to do was a factory reset literally takes 30 seconds to do if you're not sure how to do it if you pick one up let me know it's super easy to do literally took about 30 seconds to do since then it has worked flawless okay so i just wanted to mention that um just to get that out there um because again full disclosure i'm always honest with you guys i tell you good bad or indifferent so but the that brings us to the last advantage um cost so the Beniz box the cheapest I've seen this is 210. Um, if you if you watch Amazon, you can pick it up from anywhere between 210 dollars up to usually 240 or 250. Now this is the 4 um, G box. They do offer an 8 G box, which is more expensive. Of course, it's just more storage. Um, which, in my opinion, unless you're doing something crazy with these things, the four is plenty. Um, I've never come close to you know filling it or whatever. So you're looking at anywhere between 210 and 240. Usually that's the price range on the Beniz box for the four now Beniz did just recently come out with a new updated version but that one the last i checked was like 295 dollars so it's an updated version i have not used it can't speak on it but just so you know what you're looking at you know roughly price wise the car link it is 199.99 so call it 200 bucks but because of our discount code i don't have one for Beniz, unfortunately we have a discount code with car link it you can get this for 18% off. So you're looking at roughly 165 ish, 165 to 170 bucks when it's all said and done, um, roughly. So you're saving um, anywhere between 40 and 80, $80 when you compare apples to apples, because this is the 4G box as well from Car Link It. So apples to apples, both 4G, both same connectivity and all that stuff, as far as processing and you know all that, uh, the specs to them, you're saving anywhere between 40 and 80 bucks by going with the car link it so you throw in a couple other minor advantages the fact that it's half the thickness and the connectivity you know as far as not crashing or anything has been i don't want to say way better because again the Beniz, it wasn't like it happened all the time but it hasn't happened at all with the car link it um you know you can't really go wrong so i'm going to end the video with saying this if you have a Beniz, do i think you need to switch no, I wouldn't say so, unless you want to. Um, it's up to you. If your Beniz is acting up or whatever and you want to make the switch, then I would say grab a car link it. If you don't have anything like this and you've been on the fence or you're thinking about it, you absolutely should go with the car link it. Um, again, it has the couple minor advantages, but also the cost. I mean, in essence, they do the same exact thing, but you can get this for anywhere between $40 and $80 cheaper, depending on what the Beniz is at any given time um so yeah you'd be crazy not to so link and discount code will be down below i think i may have put the discount code on the screen earlier in the video as well if you have any questions i didn't go into how to connect this or anything because it's literally the same exact process as hooking up the Beniz box everything about it is the same if you have any questions on that let me know but i have a video showing how to connect them it is very very simple to do um but yeah it's Literally, as you can see, if you saw my Beniz box videos, it's the same setup. Settings, I noticed, I don't know um, how the new Beniz boxes are, but in my settings, I do have a lot more options on the car link it. My Beniz box settings didn't have a lot of this stuff. Um, so I'm not really gonna go into all those details because I don't want this video to go on, you know, crazy long. But yeah, I do have a lot more settings in this with the car link it as well. So. All right, questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below. If you're looking to pick one of these up or you want to make the swap, if your Beniz is acting up, grab one of these from Car Link It, use our code, and uh, you know, get it for a relatively cheap 
compared to the Beniz, and they do the same exact thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you then. Take care.